The party is for the public. I mean what I mean, that this is a public party, the public will handle this matter. Well, a very good morning. Welcome to the latest news on this amazing platform, The Buzz UG. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. Now, the Electoral Commission has dismissed Moses Chibalama's NUP faction and released a legitimate list of the National Unity Platform Party executive. Now, Paul Bukenya, the spokesperson of the Electoral Commission, said they couldn't put on record or consider their request, urging that their behavior violates the constitution of the National Unity Platform. In our records, we have uh, officials from the party who are still um, the... The people authorized to do communication even to convene meetings according to what was submitted to us as electoral commission so we've advised that uh, uh, if there is anything relating to leadership uh, if there is anything relating to leadership or issues like that they should comply with uh, the nup party constitution for for it to be considered <laughs> there you go paul bukenya speaking uh, furthermore, in his communication to the new faction, uh, the Electoral Commission stressed that it can only consider a document from the designated leaders who are led by the current party president, Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu. However, this has been contested by Chivalama's group, insisting that the Electoral Commission based its decision on a non-legitimate constitution. The, the issues con we considered were who convenes a delegates conference, who is supposed to notify the Electoral Commission, of changes in leadership and issues like that because they are clear in the um, constitution of the political party. So we've advised them like that. We are wondering that they are now quoting a forgery. When you quote a forged constitution, you yourself you are a forgery. And I want to assure you that those people who have done so will answer a hundred questions of what they have done. Now, the faction spokesperson, that is Gideon Tugume, wondered why the Electoral Commission has been quick to make a clear decision. When they push you to court, they delay. If they want to go to court to sort out the issues they are claiming, they are free to go to court. The, the party is for the public. I mean what I mean, that this is a public party, the public will handle this matter. <laughs> Now, Horebo Medad Segona, a party member who also handled the electoral petition in which Moses Chibalama went to court challenging the leadership of Robert Chagulanyi, has described Chibalama's intention as an attempted coup on the party. Now, Medad Segona was quick to attach this to the regime in government. Nobody will allow a coup in this party. We know it is a sponsored coup, but it will not succeed. They are simply wasting time. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they want to take it to a level where it, you know, it is run in a bar, things of the sort, and we cannot be party to that. Well, there you go. That is horrible. Medad Segona speaking. Now, in a statement released on their social media platforms, the National Unity Platform says it's hopeful that the letter can settle the discontent of the alleged masquerading leaders and put an end to the worry of its members. Well, there you go. That's the latest update coming in from the National Unity Platform camp. I don't know what you think. In case you have any comment about this whole story, please put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. Thank you.